hello and welcome to my first whip and chat i have never done one of these before so i hope you all can be patient with me while i figure out what kind of setup i want to do and how long i want to make these videos oh there there she goes i'm so glad i haven't opened that yet oh my goodness are you gonna sit right on the section i'm gonna try to try to do girl here she might want up in the, in the window let me get her come on do you want in the window? Oh, you want back on my lap? What do you want? Oh, you're just gonna step over everything. Okay, my girl. Um, that is Rosie. She is my 16, maybe almost 17 year old kitty. I've had her since I was six. She is my baby. I also have my other kitty, Cinder. She also loves to appear as soon as I open a um, new section. If you see cat hairs in my canvas, it's inevitable. Like, I, I'm forever gonna have cat hair in these canvases. This YouTube channel is not a diamond painting channel. I made it to talk about my love of books, and I uh, get distracted by cats a lot. So we're gonna try to keep this unedited as possible, unfiltered as possible, just chatting and diamond painting and discussing some things. If you're new, welcome to my first ever Whippin' Chat, and if you're not new, welcome to this thing I'm trying for the first time ever. This I'll, I'll explain more about diamond painting and what it is to the more book community that I have here on YouTube, and then also say hello to the diamond painting community. I'm friends with a lot of people on the diamond community, painting community already, I just ask them about this and I watch their videos about this and so I thought it'd be fun to try this. I also decided March is the month of new things so I'm gonna talk about a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna do some life updates and uh, we're gonna I'm just gonna talk about what diamond painting is. I also have a couple questions that um, a couple diamond painting youtuber people sent me that I can answer. There's some like crafty questions tag and like some bookish questions as well. Um, I'm gonna try to dime paint for, I think, 30 minutes. I feel like that's a good start for, um, this. Alright, I'm gonna do this for 30 minutes now, and we're gonna explain, I feel like I should start and kind of explain the painting I'm working on, what is diamond painting, what a whip and chat is, and uh, I need scissors, no! Um, what a whip and chat is, why I'm doing it, uh, and things like that, I feel like is where I should start. So, this is a diamond painting. It is, I got the thing out, but I think now my cat is sitting on it. No, she's not, perfect. This is the diamond painting Persephone by Roy Trin. I love this art. As you can see, I started it back in, is that May? May 18th of 22. Uh, I stopped working on this one for a while because it was so confetti heavy. It's I was not having fun doing this painting anymore, so I actually took a break and finished another painting. But um, I just, I needed... I needed a painting to work on, so this is the one I grabbed, and I do, I do love this art. She is gorgeous. Um, this is from Diamond Art Club. I have only ever really worked with Diamond Art Club. I have a few paintings from Jaded Gem Shop. Um, for the bookish community here, Jaded Gem Shop does have some bookish-based um, diamond paintings. I don't know why I just did that that I do have, that I just, I just have yet to work on one of hers. I will someday, though. All right, my girl. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This, I, I don't know if I like this setup to get colors out. Well, I guess it would work if my cat wasn't sitting up here, but I'm not gonna move her. She's the queen of this house, and she gets to choose where she wants to sit. Should I get another color out while I have these over here? Okay, let's grab tea while we're here, too. Why not? Um, saying what diamond painting is. Uh, there's a ton of videos out there if you want more info about what diamond painting actually is and how you do it. But basically are these giant canvases 
that have glue on them and you attach these little drills or diamonds or beads or whatever you want to call them to the canvas to make one really pretty picture. I This has been a hobby of mine for a while and I've just I felt guilty recently because I haven't diamond painted since end of 2023 and I only finished one diamond painting in all of 2023. I have been really lacking in the diamond painting. <sighs> I've been really lacking in my diamond paintings recently and I have been feeling guilty about it and that's why I came up have I forgotten how to how do I hold this? Okay. That's as you can see I haven't diamond painted in a long time. I decided I would that's why I would start doing these whipping chats. I'm thinking maybe one a month and then all my other content still remaining bookish because that is mainly what I focus on. And even these whipping chats are probably going to be bookish. I'm probably going to be talking about what I've been reading and loving recently. But um, I don't know if there's any wax. There's not any wax. Okay, let's get some wax in here. Uh, I always just use the very basic... Um, diamond painting wax that Diamond Art Club sends. I have a ton of this pink wax and I just don't feel the need to buy other wax, but maybe someday I will. Um, a lot of my pens were gifted to me from my sister or I bought this one from a diamond painting pens group um, or from like Diamond Art Club. So if you're, and then this is a Muni made trade, I think. Yes. Um, I tend to be pretty basic with my diamond painting supplies just because I don't have a lot of money to spend on it, and the money I do spend usually is uh, buying new paintings. So, um... What was I gonna say? Oh, dime painting. It's a craft, it's a hobby, and I have a lot of undone diamond paintings, and I've been feeling guilty because I haven't been diamond painting. I've been focusing so much on making book content that I just haven't had the time to diamond paint and I've been feeling guilty about it. Oh, Rosie. If I turn on my light, does that, does that mess up the camera? Hold on. No, okay. I, I cannot diamond paint without the light pad. It's just something I need. Um, I have been diamond painting since, I want to say, before 2020, um, maybe 2018, 2019, and it just takes me forever to do these diamond paintings. They are expensive. I think I have, like, 60, 60 maybe, around 60 in my stash of undone diamond paintings, and I keep buying more, and I'm not diamond painting, and I've just been feeling guilty about not diamond painting, and so I've been trying to come up with ways and time for me to be able to diamond paint more and so I, I like whipping chats I love the diamond painting community I'm in a discord full of diamond oh no diamond painting people <laughs> and they're all very sweet and kind and they do whipping chats and I was like well maybe I should try one um so this is me trying one I also decided March was going to be the month of new video. Oh no, here she's coming back. Okay, hold on. Let me cover this section of new video ideas. I wanted to try a bunch of new things and I actually took the first couple days off in March to do this and ended up getting really sick. So if you can still hear that in my voice, I'm sorry. Um, I ended up getting a really bad cold and then the really bad cold turned into an ear infection and I was laying in bed for, I don't know, I think it was like five days. So I didn't actually get much done. So the start of March was pretty rough. And I still want to just do, put out a bunch of new videos in March. And when I say that, I mean the month of like new things, like new videos I've never tried before. I want to branch out what I'm doing a bit. Um, so we're going to start with this one. This is the most simplest of them all, I think. This is something I would like to try to do at least once a month so that I feel less guilty about the stash of diamond paintings that I have. That So it also allows you to diamond paint along with me if you're a diamond painter. 
whipping chats are just a fun time to get to know someone too. So if you're more interested in like just chatting, just having a fun time together while I do this hobby that I am mediocre at. Um, when I say mediocre, you don't really need skills. This isn't really like a, a skill-based hobby. It's just for fun. It's kind of like paint by number a little bit. And if you would like to try diamond painting, um, there's a whole bunch of videos out there that are amazing about learning to diamond paint and how to get started. And I will even tag a couple um, diamond painting creators down below who I just adore and who have been hyping me up to try this and who I just love talking to. I'll also post the two shops down below that I tend to buy from. They are... The one thing about diamond painting is about um, the artist getting paid. You want companies that pay their artists and don't steal art. At least that's what I want and what I feel is a necessity for me, for me to buy a diamond painting. The artist has to be getting paid for their work the two companies I buy from pay their artist, and they are amazing quality too. So I will put those below if you're interested in looking at some. As I said before, Jaded Gem Shop um, has a bunch of art pieces from nerdy video games and books and um, things like that. So she might be a fun one for you, uh, the bookish friends, <laughs> for the bookish friends to go look at. This is also a hobby that I love to do while reading because it's really easy to listen to an audiobook and then just sit here and place drills down. It's also lovely for when you're watching movies or TV shows or just need a second to like wind down. It's very, I want to call it brain numbing. It's not really like I don't know, you just don't have to pay much attention to what you're doing. You're just matching up colors and making a and making a um, really pretty picture. You see, when I said I wasn't going to edit this, I lied because I am sick. So I'm still having cough fits and sneezing fits. Um, so we'll definitely edit those out so you don't have to deal with those. But um, anyways, I've been feeling guilty. I've been wanting to try new stuff recently. This is going to be the first video of like a new thing I'm trying and it's coming out today because there's not going to be much editing. So hello, I hope your Thursday is going great. I hope you've had a great week so far. The next video I already have filmed and I really need to edit it, but there's like three hours worth of footage so I'm scared to edit it. Um, I tried a new concept where I made some drinks made some drinks based off of some books and uh, put my very minimal bartending knowledge to uh, the test. So I'm excited for that video to come out. I have a couple other ideas floating around in my head for new things I want to try and things I want to make videos for. And I just hope I hope they turn out. I hope you like these. Let me know what you think of this. And if you want me to continue doing these, I think it would be fun to do progress updates and whip and chats once a month. Like I have one video a month and then all my other videos will probably remain bookish. But um, I know a lot of people in the dime paint community also love to read. So I'm just I'm just trying to like combine the two communities that I'm a part of into one thing and one video and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't and that's okay hmm. but I am a book lover if you're coming from the diamond paying part that's what most of my content is about it's about books I love to read and be a nerd and um most people already know that about me though I feel like so I um I have some questions here that were given to me. Oh, really, girl? Oh, right on the sticky glue. Okay, okay, girl. What, how can I, okay, we're gonna cover you real quick. Do you want in my lap? Come on, come on. Yeah, there you go. If I ever need to clone my cat, I just need to look in one of my <laughs> diamond paintings. 
What was I saying before uh, Rosie interrupted? Oh, I have questions. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, I was given some questions from the, the crafting community. And I thought I would answer some of them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to answer all of them because I'm not a very crafty person in general. So we'll, we'll see, but I'll go through these anyways. And this, I think is the crafty, crafty question, 20 question, 20 crafty questions tag. Wow. That was really hard for me to say. Um, and we're just going to go through it and see what we can, what happens. I don't know. I didn't plan this very well because I didn't really plan this out. Because it's supposed to be very just raw and honest, I feel like. Um, question one, where does your channel name come from? My channel name is Reading with Chloe because I read and my name is Chloe. It actually, um, I moved it from my Instagram to my, my YouTube. My Instagram name is also Reading with Chloe. Because I have a bookstagram. So I have an Instagram where I post book reviews and and um, things like that. I also used to do um, book makeup looks too on there. I would love to get back into that, honestly. Oh, there she goes again. Um, someday I'm hoping to. Did I already go through the first color? Girl, can I help you? Girl, <laughs> the struggle is real with cats and diamond painting. Oh no, this seems very dangerous. Um, I bet I miss one. I always miss one of the first colors. Oh. Also, I am like the messiest diamond painter. I am constantly spilling drills and up. Oh, <laughs> making messes. I get made fun of it a lot by my sister and my boyfriend who also diamond paint. Um, I actually started this hobby basically because of my sister. She's a huge, huge diamond painter. And um, she introduced me to this. And I'm honestly, I've been trying to convince her to make videos about diamond painting for a year. And I think for like years I say years. Has it been years at this point? I think it has. Because um, I think she'd be great at it. And she's a really crafty person. But she has yet to. So I am beating her to this. And I hope that um, she does it. I think she'd be really good at it. But she got me into diamond painting. And she is constantly making fun of me whenever we diamond paint together. For how messy of a diamond painter I am. Rosie. Okay, we're going back in my lap. Oh, this wax might not be good. Oh, you're going to hear munches now because Rosie's eating. I'm sorry. But you know what? It is what it is. I feel like we should just move on to the next question now because I don't know where I was going with that. Reading with Chloe. It's because I read books and my name is Chloe. Um, two is what types of crafts does your channel focus on? This is what I meant with, I don't know if I'll be able to answer all of these, because uh, my channel doesn't really focus on crafts. It focuses on books, and I mean, I guess some crafts that I would like to do, I would love to, uh, to do more sewing, like making, I relate a lot of things to books, so like making clothes based off of books. Um, I loved to body paint, and make makeup looks based off of books too. Um, there isn't much crafts that I actually do on my channel here. That's why I'm trying to bring diamond painting to my channel. And maybe sewing and other crafty like things in the future. Costume making. Things like that. But we will see where this goes and how if people like this. Where else do you share your creations online? Oh, I kind of just said I am here on YouTube and I'm also on Instagram. Um, Creation-wise, I just share a lot of reviews over there, honestly. 
um, creations. I guess I used to do the body paint looks. Those would kind of be my crafty creations, but I um, haven't done those in a while. I really, really need to get back into it, honestly. All right. How long have you been crafting? Um, forever. <laughs> uh, diamond painting specifically, I think since like 2019, maybe. I, um, I've done one video on my channel where I did a book wrap up and I wrapped up the diamond paintings I was working on that month just to try it out. And I did get a lot of comments asking questions about diamond painting and then I think that video was like a year old at this point now or is a year old at this point now and um I've always wanted to go back to making more diamond painting stuff I just haven't but yeah I think diamond painting specifically maybe 2019 I know I was doing it in 2020 so maybe even before that but um yeah um sewing is a newer thing I used to do paint by numbers, and I used to paint on, like, canvases and stuff like that. Uh, I've always been interested in art, just never very good at art. So, I feel like I've been crafting my whole life. We used to do scrapbooking when I was little. I used to do paint by numbers, and, um, I don't know. I feel, I feel like I've always been a little crafty, but not super crafty, if that makes sense. What is the first crafty item you remember making? Ooh, I, well, I mean, I'm sure there was other little items. I, like, in school, I remember making, like, Christmas, like, wreaths and stuff like that. Um, on my own, I remember making a horse blanket with my mom when I was in, like, third or fourth grade. It was, like, those felt blankets where you take two large pieces of felt and then you snip and then tie them all together and make this, like big felt blanket. Um, I remember doing that. Me and my sister made felt mermaid tail blankets once. So I think those are some of like the first ones I have vivid memories of. What if, the, what, which of your creations is currently your favorite? Um, I'm gonna say in terms of like diamond painting, which diamond painting I've done is currently my favorite. And right now, or creations, I'm currently working on a dress right now, which I'm going to have a video come out for when I finally finish the dress. The dress is taking me a year to make at this point, um, and it's kind of like a ball gown, so, and I have very minimal sewing knowledge, so I'm working on that one. Um, my favorite diamond painting I've ever done, I just finished, what is it called? It's Katara. It's a diamond painting... I think it's Lady of the Lake is what it's officially called by Sarah, is it Mufasa? Mufasa? Something like that. Um, and I just, I adore Avatar The Last Airbender. And so I just, I adored that diamond painting Katara. It looks so good in it. She just looks amazing. So that one's currently up and I stare at it and I love it. Um, my all time favorite, like it's been on my wall since I've done it and I've never will never take it down. I have Think of Me by Mandy Men's Mandy Menzel. What's her name? Um, it's Think of Me. It's beautiful. It's a Phantom of the Opera diamond painting. And I just, every time I look at it, it makes me happy. It's so pretty. Uh, what do I do with my finished products? I keep them for myself. <laughs> That's why I said I didn't know if these questions would work for me, but, um, We'll go through some of them. Where do I create? Usually at this desk or I have a lap desk for if I want to dive paint on the couch or in my bed or something like that. Or me and my sister or there's a couple friends in my life who also diamond paint. We'll all get together and have like diamond painting parties where we all uh, go around the uh, kitchen table with our diamond paintings and just watch something recently. <laughs> We've been watching Bluey. Um, but we've done ones where we were watching, like, Legend of Korra or a Disney movie. We were watching The Incredibles during one. We just, um, hang out and, or listen to music and watch movies and diamond paint together. I did this one very poorly. Oh no, it is stuck. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go.
There we go. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna choose some more of these. Uh, what do you watch, listen to anything while you craft? If yes, what I do. I listen to books, I watch movies, um, I, I'm trying to think about what I can tell you that I've been listening to recently. I'm currently reading What the River Knows. It is like a mummy meets... I don't know, it gives Indiana Jones vibes. I'm only like a chapter or two into that. I have a family book club I'm part of, and that is the family book club book we are reading. Uh, the last family book club book was Yumi the Nighttime and the Nighttime Painter by Brandon Sanderson, which I'm not the biggest fan of Brandon Sanderson, but I did enjoy the overall story of that book. Um, Brandon Sanderson's writing is just not for me, is what I've determined, I think. Uh, he... He has a really popular fan base, and I can tell why he's popular, and I think he's really good at coming up with worlds and stories. I just don't like the way he tells them, um, and I know I'm in the minority on that because he is a very famous author, but it's just his writing style just isn't my favorite. <clears throat> I'm trying to think about what else I have recently read that I want to talk about. Um... I mean, the last video up is my <laughs> Crescent City reading vlog, which Crescent City series by Sarah J. Moss is a mess. Um, I like Akatar a lot, but I'm not the biggest fan of the Crescent City series, but I went to Disneyland and I was reading Crescent City at the same time, or the final book that just came out, Flame and Shadow or something like that. And... Oh, that was a time. <laughs> I recently re-listened to um, Kingdom of the Feared by Carrie Maniscalco. Carrie Maniscalco is like my favorite all-time author. She writes Stalking Jack the Ripper and Kingdom of the Wicked. I adore her so much and her stories and I just am in love with her characters and she probably is the biggest collection on my shelf. I just, I collect copies of Stalking Jack the Ripper, like special edition copies. I have some copies in Italian. Um, I'm like, I'm purely obsessed with this series. So, um, I was re-listening to Kingdom of the Feared and, um, I, I don't know if I should like should I tag my, my bookshelf tour if you're interested? If you want to see what kind of books I like, I will... Yeah, I guess I can. I like, I'll link my bookshelf tour if you're interested in the types of books that I like. And you can see what my shelves look like. I feel like readers' shelves are a good um, way to look... In, or like, I want to say look into the soul, but it's not really that. It's just a good collection of what that person likes and um kind of gives you an idea of the books that they like so if you're interested I'll link that I'll also just watch movies or listen to music too um I feel like that's a lot of the crafty questions that I should answer oh here's this one like um your favorite color my favorite color is purple or black Favorite craft to do or diamond painting for sure. Um, let's see. I know there's some bookish questions. Should I do? Should I do more tag questions? Is that? Is that what I should do? Maybe. I feel like I just started the square and I'm like, no, we're never done with it. Ah, I'm the slowest diamond painter. I feel like I diamond paint so so slow. Um, there are a couple of events in the dime paint community that I have been wanting to do. There was a night court event that I was gonna actually participate in, and then, um, what? I got in a car accident that month, and then, um, we also, like, lost a family pet, and it was just not a great month, so I didn't do much diamond painting that month, but, um, I do have a resand diamond painting to do that I was gonna do for that event so um that might be one I start soon 
because <sighs> I missed the event, but I still want to do the diamond painting. I also have another Jaded that is just, she's so stunning. It's this, like, I, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a girl looking to this golden mirror with, like, a black background. It's been high on my want-to-do list recently. <clears throat> stuff like that but I don't know I feel like I don't have much to talk about in whipping chats so if you like whipping chats and you like people like just learning things and chatting uh let me know what kinds of stories you find interesting I um I feel like this one is just like a get to know me one, kind of, like things I like, things I like to do, books I like. I'm a huge Disney, I'm a, well, yeah, let's be honest, I'm a Disney adult. I, uh, <coughs> I go to Disney all the time and I just adore it. It is my happy place. Um, that, and the bookstore, and my bed, because I can read books and cuddle with my cats. <sighs> Let's do that. Now I'm focusing too much. Okay. Are we going to be doing the same diamond painting each time? Maybe. It depends on how much I can work on between each video. Um, I would honestly love to get off this diamond painting. I'm so tired of doing this one. Um, not that it's not beautiful because it is, and I love Roy, he's the artist, I love his artwork so much, and I have a couple of his diamond paintings in my stash, and I love Hades and Persephone myths, they're like my favorite of the, of the Greek myths and the retellings, and well, Orpheus and Eurydice too. I'm obsessed with Hades Town, I feel like that's a good thing to mention. I love, love, love Hades Town so much, it's a musical, it's beautiful. I'm also recently been a blast in the Mamma Mia soundtrack. I don't know why. I've just, uh, I love the Mamma Mia soundtrack too, but I love Broadway. I recently, like a week ago, went and saw Mean Girls, the musical, even though I was really sick and probably shouldn't have went and saw it. Um, <clears throat> uh, not that I was contagious. I'm not contagious. I just have an ear infection, um, and probably wasn't the greatest to go see it, but I have season, t I have season passes for the Broadway shows that come here, so I, like, didn't want to waste the pass or the money, but, uh, I think the next one I'm seeing is To Kill a Mockingbird, so, um, or Mockingjay, Mockingbird, uh, by Harper Lee, it's the book, it's, they made a play based off of it. So I'm excited to see that one, and then Frozen, but this year I also saw Six twice, and Six was amazing. The first play of this season was Hades Town, which I bought tickets last minute to see it twice because I loved it the first time. It was my first time ever sitting in, um, oh, actually that's a lie. I saw, I sat in orchestra seating for Jesus Christ Superstar, but those were just free tickets given to me, which was amazing. Jesus Christ Superstar was okay. Um... It is by the same person who made Phantom, so that's why I was excited to see it, but definitely not my favorite play I've ever seen. Um, <clears throat> Hades Town was the first play where I actively bought orchestra seating tickets to see it, and then I upgraded um, my sisters. Both my sisters came with me, so I upgraded their tickets too so that they would be in the orchestra pit with me. And it was amazing. We watched it from the very front row. Like, I literally could touch the stage. It was an amazing, amazing experience. And we loved it so much that me and my sister bought um, tickets for the next day to see it in the morning right before work. And then I rushed off to work in hopes that I wouldn't be late. But, um, and then for that one, we sat in the very, very back. We just bought, like, cheap last-minute tickets together to see it and it it wasn't that play is everything to me um I don't know why I started down this Broadway path but this is what we're talking about now 
Another one is Wicked. I've seen Wicked a couple times and I adore Wicked so much. It fills my, my heart with joy and I can't wait for the movie to come out actually. I just watched the trailer for, um, for the movie the other day and I really hope it, they do well. It looks so good. Their voices sound amazing in the trailer, but oh, I'm so excited. So excited. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to finish this color and then I'm going to wrap up. Okay, so this is a whip and chat. It's literally just chatting while working on whatever your work in progress is. That's what whip stands for. Um, was that the last T? It might have been. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. Can you hear the bird outside going crazy? This is diamond painting. I would love to do this more often. I would love to just sit here and work on these and just chat about recent reads, life updates. Um, the one life update in this was that I did get really sick and that's why all my videos have been postponed. Like, oh my goodness, I keep... Dude, where did you even come from? This hand? Okay. That's why, like, all my videos in March have been pushed back a couple days or like a week delayed because I did get really sick but I'm trying to do new videos this month like videos I've never done before so this one is coming out as the beginning of it and then I have my um I don't even know what I'm calling it yet but um my video next week is gonna be super super exciting already filmed I just have to edit it and I'm scared to edit it but welcome to my channel if you're a diamond painter and feel like sticking around because I talk about books I I feel like a lot of diamond painters also love to read, so if you need some book recommendations from me to work on while you diamond paint or do your craft and feel like sticking around, um, welcome to my channel and hi. Say hi below. Let me know if you are a crafter and what you like to craft on and work on if you're a diamond painter, um, things like that. If you are a reader who wants to try diamond painting or getting more into the crafty community, I will be linking some of my favorite um, diamond painters so that you can go check out their videos. They have some, when I first started diamond painting, they were the videos I really relied on to learn uh, diamond painting and learn some tricks about diamond painting, stuff like that. And from my sister, who is an avid diamond painter, so she taught me a lot of tricks as well. But um, I'll, I'll tag some of my favorite, some of my favorite people and shops and crafty uh, individuals for you to go follow or just research if you want to learn more about this craft. Um, I didn't even explain the numbers on here. At first this was a randomizer painting. I was rolling for a random number and then doing that section and then realized I just want to be done with it. So I've been working bottom to top, just not even in the number order anymore. Um... Thank you so much for checking out my first whip and chat. Let me know what you think. I'm sorry I'm a bit sick for it. So if you hear sniffles or coughs or my voice being weird, I'm so sorry. But this is just what you get. These are more like raw videos, I guess. And I need to get used to that because all my videos are very um, edited so far because they're it's what they're supposed to be. Um, let me know if you like this, though, if you want more of this kind of thing, I wouldn't do it very often, maybe once a month for an update on where my diamond painting is, a chat just about life and books. I'm probably going to be chatting about my current read or recent reads that I've really loved. Oh, I was going to talk about the Traveling Cat Chronicles. I love that book and I've yet to talk about it on my channel and so I was going to, but that's okay. We'll, we'll save that for another time. Oh. <sighs> Um, if you are, if you sent me some of these questions, I thank you so, so, so much. I, I love that dime pain community that I've been exposed to, that I've seen a small part that I've seen of it. And, um, thank you so much for being so welcoming and giving me ideas and being so supportive in me trying this out. And if you're in the book community, go check out these amazing people. I'm gonna end this now. Um, I didn't get very far, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Next time. We'll see where we are next time. I'm at least gonna finish this square, so 
um, hopefully next month or in the next two months I'll be working on a new Bennett Diamond painting. I want to try to finish at least three this year, which I know to some people sounds like a really low number, maybe sounds like a really high number, I don't know. I just, I'm done only finishing once, one a year when I have like 60 in my collection because that's, it's going to take me like 75 years to complete all of these. And, um, I keep buying more too, so that's a, that's a problem, but it's fine. Um, let me know, and if you are wanting more diamond painting videos other than just a whip and chat, let me know that too. I could, honestly, I could do a stash video. I have a big enough stash that I could show all my undone diamond paintings or all my done diamond paintings. It's up to you. Let me know what kind of content you guys want, and honestly, I'm probably going to continue whip and chats just because... It's something I like to do and you know, we gotta make we gotta make ourselves happy sometimes, at least. But thank you so much for watching and I'm I'm gonna say bye now. Bye. Bye. Bye.